Erg Video 3 runs best under the Windows 7 or Windows Vista operating systems because we've used technology that takes advantage of the hardware rendering capability of video cards made for those systems. Windows XP, on the other hand, does a good deal of uh, software rendering which push, puts a lot of stress on your CPU. Even high performing Windows XP systems with video cards that were good in that era uh, can have a hard time rendering um, high definition video in ERG video. But there are a few things you can do to try to tune the performance uh, so that your ERG video experience under a, a, a decent performing Windows XP system uh, is smooth and accurate. So I'm going to just show you some of the tuning uh, parameters here that we can use. I'll just open uh, a high definition video and I've got one, I'll have one rider assigned and I'll just start the ride. Okay, here I've shown a configuration which is um, absolutely the worst configuration that you could use in a Windows XP system that has some, that ha would have some performance uh, issues. Uh, again, under Windows 7 and Windows Vista this isn't much of a problem. But I'll just point out here that the, the video itself and the course profile is overlapped in the image. This puts more stress on your CPU uh, in, in doing the calculations. So if you hit the button that says isolate, it will make sure that the video and the profile do not overlap. That saves quite a bit of uh, CPU performance right there. Uh, keeping this uh, a reasonable size as well uh, is, is uh, a better idea in terms of performance. You'll notice as well that the video is stretched all the way across the window and it's actually uh, underneath this transparent control panel as well. If you hit aspect, I think this is a, a more suitable image anyway because the people are, are properly proportioned and all the scenery is properly proportioned when you preserve the aspect ratio. So you want to be in aspect ratio mode and isolated mode to uh, optimize performance. You'll also notice that when you take the cursor off of the panel the control overlay is, disappears. That also increases performance uh, of your system. Uh, last and not least, uh, we see the data heads up display here is being shown as transparent and overlapped with the video. So the first thing to do is make it opaque. That saves CPU cycles there as well. And you'll also see that it's now overlapping the video itself. Anything that overlaps the video causes more calculations to be performed. So we'll just move the heads up display off of the video and we can resize the video window to anything that we like there. Just as long as it's not overlapping the video image and as well uh, keep take your cursor off of the screen so that this part of the display doesn't show. You can uh, manipulate the music of course but then move the cursor off. And uh, that right there is the optimum configuration that you would run on in a lower performing Windows XP system.